Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered why some people decide to start a business while others don't, despite having similar skills or opportunities? What influences a person's intention to become an entrepreneur? Today, we'll explore one of the most influential psychological frameworks used to understand entrepreneurial behavior, the theory of planned behavior, or TPB for short. What is this theory about? How does it explain entrepreneurial intention? Who developed it? And how can it be applied in real life? In this video, we'll explore these important questions together. Section 1. Definition. The theory of planned behavior was developed by social psychologist Isaac Agin in 1985. It suggests that an individual's intention to perform a behavior, such as starting a business, is the most important predictor of whether they will actually do it. This intention is influenced by three key factors, attitude toward behavior, subjective norms, and perceived behavioral control. In the context of entrepreneurship, TPB helps us understand why someone might choose to pursue or avoid starting a business, based on their beliefs, social influences, and confidence in their ability to succeed. Section 2, Key Components Let's now take a closer look at the three core components of the theory of planned behavior and how they apply to entrepreneurship. Number 1, Attitude Toward the Behavior This refers to how positively or negatively a person evaluates becoming an entrepreneur. If someone believes that starting a business will bring them personal satisfaction, independence, and financial rewards, they are more likely to have a positive attitude toward it, and therefore more likely to act. For example, an aspiring entrepreneur who sees business ownership as a path to freedom and creative control may feel highly motivated to pursue it. Number 2. Subjective Norms Subjective norms refer to the perceived social pressure from family, friends, peers, or society regarding a behavior. If people around you believe entrepreneurship is risky or irresponsible, you might be discouraged, even if you're personally interested. On the other hand, being surrounded by supportive mentors or a culture that celebrates entrepreneurs can strengthen your intention. Consider the startup ecosystems in Silicon Valley or Shenzhen, China, where social approval plays a big role in shaping entrepreneurial ambition. Number 3. Perceived Behavioral Control this is similar to self-efficacy, how confident a person feels about their ability to perform the behavior. Do they believe they have the skills, knowledge, and resources to start a business? The more capable someone feels, the more likely they are to take action. For instance, someone who has taken entrepreneurship courses, developed a solid business plan, or has access to funding may feel more in control and ready to launch their venture. Together, these three components, attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavioral control, shape a person's entrepreneurial intention, which then influences whether they follow through with starting a business. Section 3, Examples To make this theory more concrete, let's look at two real-world examples that demonstrate how TPB operates in entrepreneurial contexts. Example 1, the case of Flipkart in India. When Sachin Bunsel and Bini Bunsel, both former Amazon employees, decided to launch Flipkart in India, their attitude toward the behavior was highly positive. They believed that India needed a better online shopping experience and saw this as an exciting business opportunity. The subjective norms around them were also supportive. As the startup ecosystem in India began to emerge, there was growing societal acceptance and admiration for tech entrepreneurs. Lastly, their perceived behavioral control was strong, both had technical expertise, knowledge of e-commerce, and access to mentors in the industry. Their intention was clear, and guided by all three TPB components, they took action, and Flipkart became one of India's biggest e-commerce platforms. Example 2, a university entrepreneurship program. At many universities, entrepreneurship education programs apply the theory of planned behavior to increase student startups. For instance, a business school might design a course that improves students' attitudes by showcasing the benefits and excitement of starting a business. It also fosters subjective norms by connecting students with entrepreneurial alumni, mentors, and peer networks that encourage entrepreneurial thinking. Finally, it boosts perceived behavioral control by offering skills training, startup funding competitions, and incubation support. These interventions, grounded in TPB, have led to measurable increases in entrepreneurial intentions and actual startups among students. Section 4, Importance. Why does the theory of planned behavior matter in entrepreneurship research and education? First, it helps explain why some people choose to pursue entrepreneurship even when external conditions are the same. It shifts the focus from what people do to why they intend to do it. 
Second, it offers a valuable framework for educators, mentors, and policymakers who want to encourage entrepreneurial activity. By improving attitudes, fostering a supportive environment, and building confidence through training and resources, we can positively influence entrepreneurial intention. Third, TPB provides a foundation for developing programs and interventions that target future entrepreneurs in schools, universities, and business incubators. Section 5, Summary To sum up, the theory of planned behavior, developed by Isaac Agin, is a powerful tool for understanding how and why individuals decide to become entrepreneurs. It highlights that intention, not just traits or circumstances, plays a central role in predicting entrepreneurial behavior. That intention is shaped by one's personal attitude toward entrepreneurship, social influences, and belief in their own capability. Whether you're an educator, a policymaker, or an aspiring entrepreneur yourself, understanding TPB can help you better support or strengthen the journey toward business creation. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts about TPB and entrepreneurship, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.